Diane at dianescards.com and today I want to talk to you about our mini muslin bags. These are terrific. You can use them for so many different things. Filled with candy, filled with cookies, little gifts. Uh, at Thanksgiving you could put a name on them and use them for place cards. All sorts of things. You can stamp them for any occasion. So today I want to show you just a few little ideas about how to use these to the best uh, way you can. If you look in our current catalog on page 151, you'll see the mini muslin bags there. And they are eight, there are eight bags and for $10. And the bags are about four inches by five and a half. So they're a nice size. A um, couple tips though to make them uh, work for you the best way. I want you to make sure first that you have a nice flat, solid surface. If you're going to be stamping with uh, photopolymer stamps, still use your uh, piercing mat because that will give your stamps a little cushion. Otherwise you can just use that your nice desk or whatever. When I'm stamping I like to have something in the bag so that it doesn't go through to the other side. You can use an index card. Uh, not the standard index card is a little bit small but you can make it go from you can make it go work by going from side to side. Uh, what I did was go to the dollar store and uh, find some very inexpensive uh, cutting mats and then I cut them up. I use them for the stamp -a jig and then I cut some just to fit into the muslin bags. Whether you're using a card or the plastic, you want to make sure that it goes over that seam. I have the seam, I can feel the seam is in the back and that way you'll have a nice flat surface. So you can use any kind of stamps on here. With this, these were all photopolymer stamps. What you want to remember is that uh, this, the colors are not going to be quite as vibrant as you might expect. They, if you stamp on paper, they look a little brighter. You can see this is the um, Cajun Craze as is this. Not quite the same. This is Cajun Craze here on this little tag. Um, but they come out nicely nonetheless. You can also use your Stampin' and Write markers on these bags. So pick a color that's nice and bright and that's uh, got some depth to it so that you'll have an image that shows up. When you're stamping, you're going to use, you can use regular ink, you can use our black archival ink. When I stamped this flower with our wood stamp, I did use the black archival ink. Um, but anyway, you're going to stamp, ink up your stamp, and I want you to make sure more than ever that you have no excess ink because you need to press really hard and hold it down. And if you have any excess ink on your stamp, it will come off on your bag. So you're just going to stamp, and I want you to hold it down for a few seconds, maybe longer than you ordinarily would, so that that ink has a chance to get into the fabric. You're also going to press as hard as you can. You don't want to jiggle it at all, but just press nice and hard. So there we go. We have a nice image there. And then fill in your other images. Now on this, um, you, you want, if you want to put a tag on them, you might be tempted to say, oh, I'll just tie it on here. But then when you pull your bag, it's got a nice drawstring there, your tag's going to be out here. You want to put it here? Well, then you have to untie it when you open the bag. What I like to do is either staple it on, and that's what I did with this. There's a staple there from our nifty stapler. And then I put glue dots between to sort of spread them out a little bit. You can also use our little mini clip uh, clothespins and uh, just adhere it some other way. Don't try to tie it on to that tag. With, with this, as I said, I stamped. I took this um, Blended Bloom stamp, inked it up with our new Black Archival, and then colored it in with my... This is real red. I know it looks a little different, and that does happen on the muslin. And now I'm using uh, Hello Honey, and I'm going to try to finish off the inside here. So anyway, but you get the idea. Um, you can also use, I believe, a little bit of um, dazzling details, and that will bring the color out a little bit more. So next time we'll try that. So I hope you've enjoyed learning about using our mini muslin bags, and that you'll come back to Diane's Cards again sometime to see what else we have to offer. Thanks so much.